everyone, John Just Designs here with um, another tutorial and this one is going to be in Cinema 4D on poly effects and how in my opinion you make it look even better so I'm going to show you how to use it and yeah make it cooler so we're just going to jump right in uh, into Cinema 4D so you can just go ahead and open that I have 11.5 um, version but I guess you can use I think you can use uh, from 11 and up from that. Uh, I don't know if. Well, I don't know. So whatever you can just begin by creating a little text object by going to MoGraph and then text object. So we're gonna rotate the camera so we can see it right here. I'm just gonna change this text to Yonjes. Oh, Yonjes, and I'm gonna give it a little cool font let's see here uh, mm, let's see here I saw a good one before it's called something uh, whatever we can just oh there we go there it is back in the US's or something so I'm just gonna give this a little more uh, depth so like that maybe around 50 so here we got my text uh, looking pretty nice and now we're gonna go ahead and go to MoGraph and poly effects and nothing happened why because you have to uh, make this you have to take this and to get this down pointing arrow on the text object and you're gonna drop it so it's gonna be parented to the text um now the poly effects it still doesn't do anything you can see nothing you can see nothing's happened yet um and we have to change that too so we're going to go to MoGraph again and choose random effector down here can click that now we see lots of things happening right here the text is like uh, breaking apart into different pieces and looks kind of strange and abs and abstract but we're going to fix that so you're gonna take your poly effects, select it, and we're gonna go to fall off, and t see this shape. We're gonna uh, take it says infinite, and we're gonna choose sphere. So now, whatever is in this sphere area is gonna be, well, like torn apart, like um, broken up, as you saw before. Uh, so you see, I can just move this around, and you see. Uh, whatever part of the text that is in this sphere is getting polyfied. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that, but you get what I mean. And so you can. We're gonna fix the settings a little bit uh, so it looks better. So we're gonna place it right here so we can just see the parts. So first we're gonna go to this fall off again and we can go to weight and we can see how it changes from when we're uh, changing the value of the weight so I'm gonna have it at not too much I'm gonna have it at about uh, 85 that should be good and you can also change uh, fall off here you can you can have that it, you're gonna have that at about um, around 60 percent that would be good and you can also make this sphere a little bigger uh, either by going to scale and doing like this Changing the value of that, or you can just take these little squares. You can make it bigger because I want it to affect a bigger area. So now we can see it looks a little better, but we can make it look uh, much better. So I'm gonna place it right here just to see it as an example again uh, of what we were working with. So I'm gonna add, gonna go to you this little blue thing and go down to explosion effects no ex explosion FX yeah sorry and you're gonna you're gonna take that and drag that into the you're gonna do the same thing as you did with poly effects uh, in the text object just gonna do it like that and now we see sh damn that's uh, lots of pieces over there so you can instantly see that uh, this affected pretty much of the uh, uh, text but you can also see this it's like falling down over here so we can just move this away uh, we can
can just move this away over here. And now we're gonna go to time over here. No, we're not. We're gonna go back to poly effects, and we're gonna uh, change these values again because last time I just showed you as if you were only using poly effects and not explosion effects uh, as well. So we're gonna take the weight down a little bit uh, to about. Let's see here. Uh, around maybe 65 percent and that looks pretty good and you can also change the fall off uh, to not that big we can change it to around 30 percent maybe a little smaller well um, a little higher amount uh, so we can change it to about 45 that would be pretty good yeah so I'm gonna make the sphere a little bigger again and now we can just create a simple animation with this by uh, drawing this square to uh, to the left so it's not affecting the text and we're gonna just go to this little red circle with a key in it to create a keyframe so go to frame zero and do that now you can see we have a keyframe so we're gonna go to about frame 60 if we want a pretty slow one so we can see what's actually happened and we're gonna take the uh, explosion effect and uh, no poly effect sorry and move it to the right uh, so much to the right uh, that it does not uh, affect the text so and we're gonna create another keyframe now we should have uh, an animation so we're gonna just click this to go f to the start and we're gonna play it and there's our animation looks kinda cool uh, so that's it for this tutorial uh, I'm gonna make some more Cinema 4D tutorials I think because um, it is a great program and uh, I really like using it and I come up with new things to do in this program a lot so uh, this this uh, is it for this tutorial and uh, be sure to leave a comment uh, tell me what you think or any suggestions to uh, what I should do in another tutorial uh, and be sure to like it if you did actually like the tutorial and subscribe that would be great and I'll see you later